Hi friends, I'm D Vegan. I'm making fruit salad today. Fruit is my favorite food, I have to admit. The healthiest is green. On top then spices and herbs and then fruit. There we are. I love it, the colors are so wonderful. And the science only began to explore the meaning of colors, the importance of colors in food now already. Famous doctors say, eat your colors. It gets more and more important. But so far, greens are on top, and let's see. Uh, for a good reason, of course. And now I make a fruit salad again, and I have a very special dressing, because I have a very special finding from the health food shop. I have dried apricots, but these are not regular dried apricots. I get, don't get these very often. These are wild dried apricots and that means they are sour. You can eat them like that as a snack and they have a little bit of sour flavor. Apricots have a very special flavor. They are a little bit bitter, a little bit, a lot of sweetness is in there and the special apricot flavor and they're usually very sweet but this, this, um, this wild species here is a really an outlier. It's wonderful. I love them so much and I don't get them oftentimes. They have always the little shelf on the shelf in the health food shop where I always go. They always have a, a little bit a, a place for these wild ones and it's always always <laughs> always empty. Yeah. Um, if you don't find the, the, uh, the, wild, the wild ones that is possible you can take regular dried apricots. They are always there. Yeah. And I blend them together with orange juice have um, three or so oranges uh, juice in your citrus press. It's a very useful tool to make a quick orange juice. Here, orange juice, two cups. You can take any kind of orange juice, of course. Oops, ah, should be careful. You can take any kind of uh, orange juice, it works. I, I just love to press myself um, the orange juice. And I will, um, I will check out how much um, I need how many um, apricots I need. I begin with uh, half a cup maybe. Maybe I have to blend some more because I'm going to have it creamy. I don't really know. I have to see. Blender dance. I mean the dried apricots, especially the, the wild ones, they are pretty firm, they are pretty dry. So as you notice, the blending takes a little bit longer than usual. And I still don't know if I have to put some more in, because um, it should be a little bit more creamy. But let me taste it in between. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, That's, it's an amazing flavor. Orange apricot is one of my absolute favorite combos. I put the rest in, I have almost a cup. And um, well, um, well let, let's, let's, uh, let's take some time extra. It's worth it. I, I blend it again.
slowly, slowly it begins to take on the color I, I want to see. It's getting more orange, more apricot orange. Oh, now it has the texture I wanted, yeah. I will have to blend it one more time. Um, after it soaks a little bit, like a second blending. You already know when you see my videos, I always do a second blending. And now it's really nice and creamy. But the perfect dressing. And you know what? I could even make a pudding out of it. But that's not now. I make it now in dressing. And I will taste it now to see. I would have put a third ingredient in there. I usually do that. I have two main ingredients. And then I take a third one to make it a new flavor. Because two ingredients, um, you always you can easily discern, you know, what is what. Because you only have two possible combinations. Faculty two is the mathematical operation that determines how many combinations a given number of objects has. So with two objects, or two ingredients, you have one faculty two. That, faculty two that one times two is two. One times two equals two. Two possible combinations. Yeah? And if you have three ingredients, you have one times two times three, faculty three, that means six possible combinations. And of course, when you have six possible combinations with three ingredients, you don't know exactly what is what. It's not so easy. But with two, it is pretty easy. So a new flavor is then when you cannot discriminate anymore. When you say, oh, that is now one flavor. I don't know what with what is what. So that's the why I basically take three ingredients for a minimum and but let's take uh, I don't know what what to put in there now I have a, an option here with dates but it might be too sweet so first I taste it and then I decide let's let's see mm. Mm. it's it's wonderful but I can take a date here I have some dates because the sour flavor from the orange and from the apricot is there um, and it can well, very well uh, do with a little bit more, I think three dates in there to make it a little cream, uh, sweeter because the, it's a very strong uh, apricot flavor there. But I come to that later. That is now sitting a while and then I blend again to finish it up. So I here have my um, bowl for the fruit salad. And the fruit salad is easily put together with three ingredients again. Papaya, a small papaya without the seeds and the peel. And a, bin, uh, a pear. And let the peel on. The pear is possible. It's the right pear. Delicious. And papaya and pear is a nice combination. I tried that before. It's very good. The papaya is pretty neutral. You can season a lot. And the pear is sweet. It has a little bit of a bitter flavor, completely different from papaya. But both are somehow gentle. But the pear has a special flavor, more special. Papaya is more neutral. And um, so it is, um, it is a pear that is nice. And the third part here is grape, red grape. They are super sweet. I have a cup here. I have the grapes to get it um, a little bit more. Um, to, easier to combine for the taste buds and that's it you know colors are a nice pairing here it's an orange or rosy orange with the white for the pear and the black from the grapes and I have a topping here yeah. walnuts they are pretty nice together with apricots apricots and um, walnuts to me somehow very closely related. You can, if you happen to have very dark um, walnuts, you might want to soak them. That's very easy. You can soak them overnight, yeah, and then you drain and rinse them and drain them, and then you have the most beautiful, um, crunchy, fresh walnuts. And when they are too dark, then they can be bitter, tart, can be unpleasant. But you have to decide what kind of uh, walnuts you can get. Sometimes uh, they are a little bit more bitter, then I soak them. Sometimes like these, it's okay, I don't need to soak them. Um, that's up to you, you, de you decide. So I put the walnuts here on top 
And now I go back to my dressing, blend it one more time. <laughs> because it adds a sweetness in there um, it makes it a little bit more neutral because the apricots are very strong in the flavor a very strong intense flavor especially when they're dry and it's a little bit sour and the date make it, makes it a little more neutral but still of course I hope I expect the apricot flavor the special wild apricot flavor to be in there let, let me see mm. It's perfect now with the date. You get some um, a wonderful creaminess. The date is the perfect third, third ingredient here. There's still not too many dates, of course, three dates here, three small dates. Um, the sour bitter, the sour flavor of the apricot is still full there. It's not um, so um, buried by the dates. They are very sweet. No, the sour flavor is there, but it gets a gentleness, a very nice. Um, tone. I'm gonna try it. I just kind of just try to describe it in words and you, and you need uh, it's a little bit of imagination for that but here I show you the the creaminess of this wonderful apricot orange cream and see it's beautiful has a wonderful creaminess and I tell you that the, the, the flavor here is, is like a like a poet poem it's really very delicious so then I'm very happy to have this I have this fruit salad today. Um, it was, um, I had a salad before, a green salad, a uh, wonderful green salad, very simple. And so I said, ah, salad is done, so I have fruit salad. And that is the second meal usually in a day. Um, mainly I have one big fruit meal and one big salad, green greens, something like that. And the rest I can play if I'm hungry at all. I can eat anything at the third one. So I, I show you now. I want to let this uh, uh, a very nice um, fruit salad here. Never made that before, and the dressing here it was a spontaneous, spontaneous, uh, spontaneous, uh, sp spontaneous um, idea to put oranges, orange juice with this um, dried wild apricots. Um, because I found these apricots recently, yesterday or so, or last week or so, I found them in a health food shop. I was so happy. Have to find them to have them again finally, and now I had the idea with it, with this um, orange juice cream. Mm. I'm great looking forward to it. It's a wonderful fruit salad, one of my favorite flavors, orange and apricot, and yeah, you can put it on many fruit salads. And uh, well, uh, maybe you like. Thanks for watching anyway. And I hope you enjoy and maybe subscribe and leave it on YouTube. We have another recipe every single day. You can also find me on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest and Twitter. I hope to see you soon.